Uh, congratulations to both of you and the team. Thank Coach, you. Um, your thoughts on Nadia as a player on and off the field and training in the camp, like what's your presence? Uh, Nadia has been, uh, she's been a real good value add to our team. Uh, she's been a thorough professional. Uh, she's worked hard in every training session since the time she joined us. Um, she showed it today that what she can do. And again, it takes, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not easy for someone who's never played with the team to come in 10, 15 days before the tournament and starts playing uh, and gelling so well with the team. She's worked hard for that. She's uh, made effort, and I, th I think all the girls have made the same effort as well. So it's not only Nadia, but it's also the other players who've really, really stepped it up. I was going to ask the because after your third goal, you pointed at the bench, you ran there, and there was like a group hug. Does that speak mm -hmm. to what kind of a team effort this campaign has been? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I just wanted to celebrate with the group because we're all a full team. I don't, we don't see it as a split, it's everybody's a full team and that's togetherness, I believe. So we're a team together and I believe that we should win together as well. So I celebrate with them. You think the last previous two matches were a bit pragmatic and we couldn't see the real potential of the front line? Yeah, I think, um, I think it's important to understand that in football we need to, um, especially if you're a new young team, you need to make sure that you uh, do your homework on the opposition. You know what their strengths and weaknesses are. Um, and so you have to play accordingly. So it's not only just about uh, what we have, it's also more important to understand that there's, there's an opposition team playing which has more experience than us. They've been working much more longer than us. So we have to keep everything in mind. So it's a, we have to look at it from a global perspective. It's not only one aspect that we need to look at. Yes. We, we would like to play the same way against those teams, but it's not it's not something that, uh, you know, it's not easy just to do it in, in a month's time. Uh, coach, what's next for the team and when can we see the team back in action? Um, the team is going to continue going. We're going to we're going to go back and, uh, you know, take a little bit of a break and then and hopefully get back together and we're going to try to get some uh, the tournaments going, try to get some uh, friendlies with, on in FIFA dates and stuff like that. So we have that plan ready. Is something in the works in terms of training? Yes, we're working on it. We, I, I, at the moment, we're working on, especially uh, we want to we want to try to play more opposition like the ones we have, uh, especially South Asia. Is something that we're looking at, um, and and that's how I think if we cover our area first, we can go go and move on from there. Question to Nadia: What do you think is all the that you know you play so good, you look great, compared to the previous two matches? Um, well, the previous two matches we had different, obviously different oppositions. They've been together um, a longer period than we have, and um, we had different strategies. But I guess that we believed in this game that we had the ability to attack more, and so we did that in this game in comparison. But I still believe that it's togetherness and believing in each and individual players, trusting each other as well, um, that pushed us through for this win. Um, when you mentioned that when your back is against the wall, the only way is forward. Do you feel like this campaign is a reasonable launch pad for the new era of Pakistani women's football? Absolutely, absolutely. This is, it doesn't get better than this. Uh, this is why we had one month, um, we could have easily said we don't want to do this, it's only one month time, but we, we, we took this opportunity by a you know, scrub of the neck and we just went with it. We pushed hard, we trained hard, we trained every single day, we went to the gym, we went, to, we did everything possible to get these girls in this position. And it's not easy because we've had many injuries throughout the process. We've had many sicknesses, illnesses as well. But again, this is what team spirit is all about. We've overcome a lot of the hurdles that we faced. And today is a, is, is a perfect launch pad for us. Absolutely. Now that you're very young, and going forward, your memories and your contribution to this team is going to be in this new era. So how excited are you for that? I'm really excited. Um, I, can't, I can't wait to play channel more games for Pakistan. And, um, yeah, beautiful team. I'm just so excited. I can't wait. Right, thank you so much, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations for being the most valuable player. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So, Coach, uh, to be, I'll begin with you. What do you feel, and how do you take this performance from your team? Uh, it's been it's been quite a bit of a journey for the last uh, month and a half. Uh, we've been. It's, it's not easy to do what we've tried to do. Um, there's been a lot of difficulties back home and we've, we've tried to power through that and we've finally come to this stage where I think it's going to be a very, very strong stepping stone for women in Pakistan, in football in Pakistan and we can hope that to really, really build from here. So Nadia, uh, what do you think? No, I'm very proud of how I performed today. The full team, how much I can develop for you. 
credit to the Maldives as well for their efforts and the work that everybody's putting on. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a stepping stone from here and I believe that it's onwards and upwards, so I'm proud of every single person I'm putting shit in.